In Tehran, in Baghdad, in Beirut, people are taken to the streets. They're being slaughtered by the hundreds, yet they continue to protest. The tyrants of Tehran shoot them, no avail. They tamper with the internet, to no avail as well. The fearless and frustrated people of Iran simply refuse to be silenced. In Baghdad, Iran's cronies have killed hundreds of Iraqis. But here too, the people of Iraq refuse to be silenced. They continue to protest. In Beirut, Hezbollah thugs attack peaceful demonstrators. But the Lebanese people keep showing up as well. What is driving these people to risk their lives and stand up to their oppressors? Well, the answer is simple. They're fed up. They're fed up with corruption. They're fed up with failing economies. They're fed off with the siphoning off of their treasure and their lives to Iran's wars of aggression in the region. And while the people of the Middle East bravely stand up to Iran and its henchmen, here's the absurd thing. While all of this is happening, countries in Europe are working to bypass U.S. sanctions against Iran. While the Iranian regime is killing its own people, European countries rush to support that very murderous regime. While Iran bombs Saudi Arabia's oil installations, while Iran rushes to enrich uranium for nuclear weapons, European countries rush to appease Iran with even more concessions. These European countries should be ashamed of themselves. Have they learned nothing from history? Well, apparently not. They're enabling a fanatic terrorist state to develop nuclear weapons and ballistic missiles, thereby bringing disaster to themselves and upon everyone else. Now is the time to change course. Now is the time to ratchet up the pressures on Iran, not to lessen them. Now is the time to join the United States and increase sanctions against Iran. To those who favor appeasement of Iran, I say this. History and your own people will judge you harshly. Change course now.